greetings to you, the Encompass Board there at the Chateau. I hope you're having great meetings and glorious weather such as we're having here in Winona Lake. As you can see behind me, this is wonderful daffodil weather. Dave asked me to share a report about how things are going with the Africa Food Initiative. And I have to start out by saying that this has been a faith venture from start to finish. Almost every part of this project depends on God doing something that we can't do. And so um, starting with moving his people to, to give in such an extraordinary way, uh, praise God, we now have $522,000 that we can spend on food. That represents about a million pounds of food and this is a miracle. So we praise him for that. Um, how the, the uh, food is being distributed, uh, I need to start by saying that just getting money to Africa has been a bit of a challenge. Actually, getting it to Africa and in our bank is not difficult. The challenge has come in getting the money out of the bank in Bangui. Praise God we now have that money available to us. Um, in terms of uh, projects that we've been doing, I think the best way to uh, present that is just a, is through pictures, so we'll do that now. This gentleman, Father Aurelio from the Catholic Church at Bozoom, was willing to uh, purchase for us $4,000 of food and he dropped it off then to the Bata Bible Institute as well as the 700 people who sought refuge on their campus. We also gave the father $2,000 to purchase food for other people as well. Pastor Elvis, a Grace Brethren man working with Wycliffe Bible Translators as well as with us in Hand in Hand Orphan Schools, uh, did a project for um, about $9,000 providing food for displaced people sleeping at the Castor's Church. Roy Danforth is doing an agricultural project. Uh, we did $10,000 uh, contribution for Baptist Midmission. Um, we gave um, $5,000 to Vision Trust. This is Josue um, working with Tom Peters in um, providing orphan care in Berberati as well as in Bangui. And of course our own orphan ministry, Project Hope and Charity. This gal on the right, Mary Claire uh, Salonque, has been, been my hero. She's done a great job. Uh, we distributed about $20,000 of food to our orphans and widows and staff at Project Hope and Charity. And last but not least is the Committee of Coordination for the Union of Grace Brethren Churches and the CAR. Um, it took a little while to get going, but boy, they, they've done a bang-up job uh, so far. They've chosen 11 zones uh, for food distribution and just completed their first project. Dave also asked me to share about challenges that we're facing. And first of all would be that we're in a race against time. Hungry people can't wait, and so we need to get food uh, and seed to people. Yeah, the, the, it's a race against time in terms of the calendar as well. Uh, crops need to get in and the rains have returned to the CAR since uh, April. So now is the time to get crops in. So we're in a race against time, that's a challenge. Um, a second challenge is trauma. Um, everyone in the CAR has seen and experienced things that no one should have to see and experience. And some people are more resilient than others, uh, but there are many people who are suffering trauma and its effects. And so our next uh, phase of humanitarian relief will be in the area of trauma healing workshops. Thirdly, uh, a challenge is communication. It just captured my imagination to think of the potential of the Global Grace Brethren family. And uh, if we could learn how to communicate and, uh, more effectively in more compelling ways and work together as a team, wow, the, the potential for good is amazing. So um, that's, that's a challenge and, and an opportunity. So all in all, I just want to thank God for his faithfulness and for where he's brought us. Uh, thank you for your prayers, for uh, your notes many of you have written me, and for your giving. 
and uh, thank you Dave as well for the opportunity to talk with the board.